Hi there, today's video topic is on Power Automate and SharePoint. So in SharePoint, when you make a page for a site, you can't move it. There's no way to move it through the UI. You can move files, no problem, by just selecting them and clicking move, but it won't let you move pages or page templates. And I had thought that this would be something that they'd, you know, add to their product soon back when they first did the redesign of site pages years and years ago and it still hasn't happened yet so i um i did a little googling and found a video of somebody who has a technique on how to move site pages using power automate and power automate is useful in this case because it does not require you to be a sharepoint administrator in order to use so um, the only other real way to do this is either with a migration tool or with a powershell and this is a little bit more accessible than average and it's kind of more reusable so i found a video by a channel called regroove where they went through how to do this and i've added a couple of steps myself that i feel like are uh, make it more user friendly um, in that you can use it on any page without having to go and copy and paste the, the page file name so i'm just going to show you what it does basically it puts a um, if you go to the automate action here next to the page it puts the flow in this context menu where if you click this it'll ask you the site url you want to move it to and you paste it in and then it copies it over and i tested this and it works fine surprisingly fine um, but i want to go through how to do it because it it's completely nonsensical and i would never have figured it out on my own without a youtube video so i'm going to walk you through it so i've got a page template here and in sharepoint page templates basically let you just um, reuse your layouts and settings for pages where you don't have to go through and click and add and configure the web parts every single time you want to um, create a new page. So I've got a page template that I want to move to another site. So there's a few different ways that you can create this flow and I feel like the easiest way to do it is from your pages library. So I'm just going to click this pages link on the left. If you don't have it in your side navigation, it's in the gear menu. If you go to the gear menu and um, site contents the site pages library is the same as this pages link here. So I'm gonna open that up. And the template that I want to move is in this folder. And what I'm gonna do is go to this automate menu. And this'll this will work for any pages in your library. So um, I'm using an example on this one template, but it's reusable on anything that you wanna move. So you could create all of your site pages, um, your templates or site pages you wanna use and then send them to new sites from, from a single site if you wanted to, or various other use cases. If you're doing a migration, you could use this to migrate things. So we're gonna to go to the automate menu, power automate and create a flow. And in here, we need to go to the show more option to show the rest of the flows and then scroll down. And the one that we want is this complete a custom action for the selected file. So click that. What that does is it, it'll give you something that is attached to the item in the context of that item that is in your library. So we're gonna give it permission to connect. So click continue. So first we gotta select our site. So great, thanks for that tip. Um, this is the one that I'm gonna select here, but you can use any one that you like. And library name. So this is where it gets weird. Um, normally with these library names, you just type in the name of the library. And that doesn't work in this case um, because you don't see pages in here. And also just because even if you did type in the site pages, um, the flow will run, but it won't actually find what it's looking for. So the super uh, weird trick for this is to go to your site pages library. So I'm going to come back over here and go to the gear menu and library settings and then more library settings to get to the settings page. And the thing that you need is the library ID, which is in the URL up here. And these are, since this URL is encoded, you actually don't want the whole thing. This percent %7b and percent %7d are um, curly brackets when you decode the, the URL. So we want everything after the percent %7b and before the percent %7d. I'm going to copy that and then come on over here and paste it 
in there. Actually, I need to enter a custom value. So click on the enter a custom value and then paste it in. All right. Now we need an input. So the input is basically when somebody runs this flow, they're going to have to enter some information in order to kick it off. And what we need to do here is collect the site that you want to move the page to, because otherwise SharePoint doesn't know where you want to put it. So I'm just going to call this site URL. And what we want to put in here generally is going to be the um, this part after sites, this first word. That's the site URL up through there. So it's this whole part right here. So in this case, we're going to leave it blank because we want somebody to enter something in here. So you can put a more specific description in this box if you want to, to try and help people out to figure out what to put in your box. But and now we need to get the file properties that we are going to um, copy. So this is this the page from your site. So this is the file that it's getting. It's technically a file, even though it's a page. It's a type of file. Uh, so we're going to connect to our site again here and paste this library uh, ID in again. Enter custom value. Paste. All right, and it put the ID in here for us already. So we got the file properties. And now we are going to get the copy file action. So this one right here. And current site address, that is the one that you are moving things from. So in this case, we would just click the site that we are still moving from, put it in three different times, that's cool. And file to copy. So this one, um, what it wants here is just the file name.aspx. And to get that, there's not a, a file property card in here that has exactly that on its own. So we are going to create a variable that will store that and then we're going to split it off of the the path string so i'm going to add another action up here it's going to be a compose and i'm going to rename this so that we know what it's doing so i'm going to say get page file name and for the input, we are going to go to our expression here. And we are going to type in last. So we're going to get the last part of a string. And then we are going to split. So we're going to split the string on. So first we need to put in here what it's splitting. So we're going to split. I'm going to go to this dynamic content tab here so that we can get card and I don't see it in here so the only one we want is the item URL and actually I think we need to make a variable so let's cancel this out and we're going to add an action we're going to add initialize there may be another way to finagle this in here but this is the easiest way I found so I'm just going to have this be the page path and Going to make this a string and for the value there should be a url in here somewhere item url there it is so it lets us select it here but it doesn't let us select it and compose so i'm just going to stick it in a variable and then um, put it in here so our expression looks like we have to start our expression over so it was last split we're going to split our variable from dynamic content page path and we're going to split that on the forward slash so we're going to take basically everything after the um, the last forward slash in the item url so let's click ok and now if we hop down to the copy file so the file the copy that it's looking for is because this is a template and templates are created in the templates folder in the site pages library we're going to put in forward slash site pages forward slash templates and then we're going to click on our output step so this is where we were getting just the file name so we're going to insert that in there. So this is just going to give us the, um, the path to the thing that it is copying. 
and then we are going to go down to the destination site address and in here we want to tell it to enter a custom value and we're going to put in the input that we collected from the user when they open this up so somewhere in here new what do they call it, it was site site url so this one right here so it's the one that we created up at the top so if i scroll up it's this one up here and now we need a destination folder so in our destination since our user is typing in the um, the site address and we have that we just need to do the same thing down here that we did above so forward slash site pages forward slash templates choose our action if the file is already there so if it's already there this is personal preference i'm just going to say copy with a new name that way we're not accidentally overwriting anything okay so let's save this I'm actually going to give this a better name because the flow name up here is completely nondescript, so nobody would know what this is doing. So this is copy page template to different sites. And there's a very similar technique for moving normal pages as differentiated from templates. So if you're not moving a template, just take this forward slash templates out here and to take it out here and that'll let you just move site pages so in this case our destination folder and our file to copy is in the templates folder because that's where templates go but you can also do it with normal pages too let's save that and we can't test this flow in here because it's a flow that's triggered on a specific item and it won't let us do that so we're going to hop back over to the pages library which was in here okay so we have our template, it's in this folder. And now we're gonna click on this ellipses menu and automate, power automate. And I've got three versions of this because I made it earlier too when I was testing it, but it's this one down here that we just made. So I'm gonna click on that and see if it works. And it's gonna ask me what site I wanna move it to. So what site do I wanna move it to? Um, let's move it to this completely empty finance portal. So I'm just gonna copy the site URL that's up here, and I'm gonna paste that into the site URL box and click Run Flow. And another thing you wanna keep in mind is that these flows that run on specific items like this, they require the users that are using them to have run permission on the flow. So if you're the one using this and nobody else is using it, then you don't need to specify that because you have permission to run your own flows. But if you have other people that need to run these things, then you are going to want to share the run permissions with them. So if you come back to your flow here, so there's a spot for owners. You can add owners here, which is advisable if you are on a team and you also have an option to add run only users right here. So you just click on edit. So if you want everybody to use this, be able to use this flow, you can use an Active Directory group that has all employees if you have one. Otherwise, you can type in the names of people that you want to be able to use this. And it will let you um, put Microsoft 365 groups in here. So if you have like a Teams group or something, you can share it with them. And then choose what permissions you want it to run under. So I would use the permissions of the run only user on here so that because if you if you're an administrator and you set this to use this connection and put in your own connection here, then they'd be able to copy pages to literally any site that you as an admin have permission to and you probably don't want that. So um, just use the provided by run only user who's clicking the buttons permissions on it and then click save. I don't have anything to save. So let's go see if that works. Let's go to our finance site and go to site contents and site pages oh we don't have a templates folder in here let's make a templates folder so site page libraries you have to turn on the ability to create folders in the site pages library so that's in library settings i'm going to just go ahead and create a template and that'll create the templates folder just because i feel like that's a little bit more user friendly so if i go to my home page add a new page and I'm create a blank page and then I'm going to save it as a template to get that folder created. I'm just going to publish this and then I am going to go to promote and save pages template. 
and save it as template. And I need a title. So again, I'm just doing this to get the, the templates folder created. So, all right, so if we go back here now and site contents. All right, so now we have in our site pages library a folder called templates that has a template in it. So let's go back and copy this over. So we're gonna run this again. So this is back in our original site. We're gonna try again to move it. So here's, we're gonna run this flow again. I'm gonna paste in the URL again and run. Okay, so let's see if that worked. These take about 10 seconds to run, so I'll give it a second here. All right, and there it is. So this is the one that we just moved. Let's see if it's working. And it is, that's great. And the cool thing about this is that uh, the pictures and stuff are still functional. So you'll notice the banner up here isn't a broken image. And it used to be that in Classic, when you started moving pages around, they get really, um, all the links and the web parts and everything would break. But in this case, it looks like we are actually doing okay. And let me put something in here. Just make sure what's the URL on this. All right, yeah, so that web part is hooked up to the documents library in the site that we moved the page to, which is pretty cool. I didn't expect it to be quite that smart, but that's great. So there you have it. So that's how we move um, templates from one site to another. And if we wanted to use this template now, we just go to the plus new menu from any of the pages in the site and go to page and our template shows up here. So this is the one that we moved. This is the dummy one that we created earlier. So we can create something off of that. So that was how to move site pages and templates. And again, if you need to move just plain pages and not templates, just take the templates folder out of the, the flow and it should still function just fine. So that's everything. Thank you for watching.